What's something you loved as a kid but hate as an adult? Carnival rides. Used to love them as a kid. Now I can't get on the tilt-a-whirl without getting super sick. Man, I used to love the scrambler at fairs, went on one a few years ago, and my FN neck just hurt for days lol. G-Force is trying to yank my lollipop head right off. Kind of a depressing I'm getting old moment for me. I came here to say that, too. I went on the zipper two years ago forgetting I'm 30 years older. I'm still recovering from that bad decision. Getting mail as a kid it was exciting cause it would only happen around Christmas and my birthday but now it's just bills. And junk mail. Nickelodeon magazine please. Growing up. Couldn't wait to grow up when I was a kid, but dread getting older now. I can relate to this so much. One year into adulthood and all I can think of is fuck go back. I was the opposite of this. The night before my high school graduation, I had an existential crisis. I knew my life was about to change, and that my childhood was over. I was not happy about it. The thought of having a job. Or the thought of progressing to the next stage of your life. Yup. Before I thought it would be fun and cool to have money. Now I've gone a year deep and when my supervisor goes to cry in his car over the stress of the job I honestly relate. Please be nice to your veterinarian staff guys, we're trying. Yo play whipped key lime yogurt. It was the only yogurt I would eat and I ate a lot of it. Now thinking about the taste makes me sick. They still make it. My stores only carry key lime, strawberry and chocolate. I made the mistake of buying the chocolate out of nostalgia. Wrong. Fucking. Choice. Shit I remember that stuff. I bathed it up after having surgery when I was 11 and was never able to stomach it again. Swimming in public pools. Yeah I see public pools as pretty gross now. Guaranteed to be full of piss and kids snot. Got ruined for me at age 6 when a fat fucking turd meandered past my face at a public bath. Never got out of a place that quickly. Emails. I was in college when I got an email address, was super excited to get an email. Now, I hate getting them because it's either a stupid meeting or something I have to do slash address at work. Agree? Even regular mail. It usually is junk or a bill, but email is a bittersweet bane. 24 hours a day. The only good emails are, has been shipped. Your credit score increased. Shrink your penis down to a more manageable size. Edit, wow. This blew up. Thanks for the rewards. Spinning. As a kid I would basically t-pose and spin in place for fun. I'd get dizzy for a few seconds and then I'd be back to normal. Now, if I did that, I'd feel nauseous for the rest of the day, would probably have to lie down for a few hours. I was at work a few days ago and we saw some kids rolling down a hill and we all talked about how fun that used to be. We also talked about spinning and came up with the same conclusion. I loved doing that until I was 5 and fell face first into concrete. I deviated my septum so bad it turned into a C-shape and blocked off most of both sides. Luckily I destroyed my nose beyond recognition in a car accident and got a free nose job. The plastic surgeon kept asking if it was hard to breathe like a week later and I was like this is the first time I've been able to breathe out of my nose in 20 years. Being sick. When I was a kid it meant staying home from school and watching prices right in the AM and TRL all afternoon. As an adult it means no paycheck and shame. That's your birthright as an American. You don't have sick leave. Spending the night at someone else's house. This can still be fun depending on whose house you're staying at. I love sleeping in my own bed and using my own pillows. Sucks when you wake up before anyone else and you just stare at the ceiling until the rest wakes up too. Fast food. Used to love it because my parents only allowed me to have it when we were on vacation so it was like a treat for me. As an adult their home cooked food is the treat now. Totally get this. I'm currently in this in between phase where the idea of McDonald's excites me but one bite and I just think there's so many better things I could be eating. 
Lol, I'm glad you say that and hope my kids will feel like that one day smile. I put a lot of work into family dinners, but when the kids are given a choice, they pick McDonald's and Little Caesars. <laughs> Snail mail. It used to be all exciting gift cards, presents, cool magazine subscriptions and nice letters from family members and friends. Now it's 99% bills and solicitors. Edit, thank you to everyone reaching out offering to be a pen pal but I don't give out my personal info to strangers. I appreciate the kind gestures more than you could know. But how else will you know when your car's warranty is about to expire? r slash pen pals edit, look at global pen friends to filter between age, gender, and region. Making new friends, so much easier when you are still a kid. Also, sustaining friendships when all your friends are married, have kids, in serious relationships, demanding careers slash jobs, or are simply too busy. Seems everybody is so busy we start to forget to connect, even if it's just for a cup of coffee, hell, I got to ask people at least a week ahead of time to hang out, sometimes more. I also miss the days of hanging out on a whim, like when I was in my teenager slash early 20s, pensive face. I actually have an easier time making friends as an adult. Trouble is, now I don't really want them. I just want to sit in my cave by myself and make things with my sewing machine lol edit, well, this blew up. Since so many are asking, I was an extremely shy kid up until probably in my 20s. I am now pushing 40 and am a volunteer firefighter slash EMT. I have met lots of people through volunteering, and many of them are friends. It's hard not to be friends with people who have the potential to save your life one day. If you have the chops for it, volunteer. Your community needs you. Talking on the phone. Used to stay on the phone for hours at a time three-way calling with friends. Now the idea of my phone ringing makes me want to puke. A friend yesterday called me just to chat, and it was so weird to me. I can't remember the last time I talked on the phone without an express purpose. I'm weird in that if I talk on the phone I start cleaning house. Since no one calls anymore housekeeping seems so boring. Well, my oldest lives with his dad and had to skip his weekend with me. He video called and we talked for 4 hours and I got so much cleaning done. Teenagers. When I was a kid teenagers were so cool. Now they're the most obnoxious people in the world. I remember looking at the 5th graders when I was in 3rd or 4th grade and thinking they were so big and tough. When you're a child, teenagers look like adults. When you're an adult, teenagers look like children. Lots of sugar. I still want to eat sugary stuff like pastries, except now I feel guilt every time I eat it. I miss when I wouldn't care and just enjoy those delicious treats frown. Shit, I still love lots of sugar. Growing up. Damn, I feel you. This should have way more upvotes. Somewhere along the line you switch from I wish I was older to I wish I was younger. I don't have any regrets, but seeing my small kids wishing they could skip a few years while I'm slightly jealous of the situation they're in makes you think. And makes me try harder to make the time they have now more meaningful. Edit, to clarify, it's not that I don't have any regrets at all, just no major ones. Things could be better, things could be, a lot, worse, and I'm pretty content with my life now and trying to improve where possible. Smile. Going to McDonald's as a kid equals victory going to McDonald's as an adult equals defeat. Going to Burger King as a kid equals feel like king of the world going to Burger King as an adult equals feel like Prince Andrew. Life in a nutshell. Craft singles. Facebook. Used to be great for meeting up with friends or girls from other colleges. Now it's aunts and uncles fighting over politics, man shrugging. People. The more I learn about people, the more I like my dog. Twain. Cake frosting. And for the same reason, candy corn that stuff used to be cracked a little me. I tried it as an adult and it was so sweet it practically burned. I'm still obsessed with cake frosting. 
Buffets. When I was a kid I'd pick a buffet to go to for my birthday. As an adult I realize how low quality and gross the food is. Edit, bad auto correct. You need to go to a buffet at a really good steakhouse where they want you to fill up with the salad bar instead of on the steak. Something like Texas to Brazil. The buffets there are legendary. Oh man. A good buffet is so good though. And with Covid. Now buffets where I am from bring food to you. You just use their website to order the food. Boy. That's a recipe to grow fat. Lucky for me I am too poor to afford to go for too many good buffers. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.